EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Tara Edi Golf Club near the northern tip of New Zealand, it's opening round coverage of the Kiwi Championship. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. The former Texas Longhorn Scotty Scheffler is the leader. He's already at nine under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer in good form coming into this one fresh off a of victory a week ago. Well, it's 74 yards here as he's set for his second. Well done, that is in for a par here at the first. And he'll stay at level par. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round, will win the day. A birdie try on the second green, and with that, we welcome four-time winner on the PGA Tour, Nota Begay. Just has to get the ball started, and it will work back to the right and toward the hole. That finished off for par here with the second. And he'll stay at even par. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. So he'll come at it from the left side of the fairway as he gets set now for his second shot. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. An outside look here for Birdie. Ah, that is well judged straight into the cup. It's a Birdie here at number three. That ball going to roll out a little too much as the momentum carries it all the way into the bunker.
Ah, that's how you can take advantage of this course. Big drive, fine bunker shot, and a good look coming up for a three. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. Boy, that's way down there. Should only leave an iron to this par five. Now, after the big drive, this a good distance here for a second to the par five. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. So now this one, got to have enough to get up a fairly steep slope. This for Eagle. Yeah, you really got to put a charge into it up that slope, and that is fairly well done. A four-footer here for birdie. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Right side of the fairway here for this, his second. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. 13 feet away. Oh, everything going right now. That a fourth consecutive birdie. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Not your standard approach here. This is second from behind the green. There's another one. It's five birdies in a row.
just did not want to settle. It'll wind up rolling off the fairway and into the heavy stuff. So even from the thick stuff, a chance still to possibly reach this green in regulation. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Chance now for another birdie. I mean, this is just becoming too easy now. That a sixth consecutive birdie. And he's going to get it to six under par. Three shots off the lead. And that, a well-placed bunker. It'll collect plenty of shots just like that one as this indeed rolls into the sand. Now that's actually a pretty good shot, really. I know that's uh, not exactly close to the hole, but out of the fairway bunker, safely on deck. Down to Iona, this for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. You might like this one. You might really like it. Oh, yeah, what a putt there. It's in from long distance for birdie here at the ninth. That'll finish off a 29 on this front side. Seven shots under par. Well, putts come in all shapes and sizes, right? Made the long one on the previous hole, and now he has a much shorter look. Either way, make another birdie. Yes, rolls it right in. A birdie here at 10. And he's going to continue to crawl up the leaderboard. He's to eight under now. One shot back. We have good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. That one had to feel good. Yeah, struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Yeah, that's good putt. That was a slippery one, but that's well done. You bet, a birdie here at the 11.
This starting toward the right side. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yes, 120 yards left to the flagstick. Pin front left so he can take dead aim. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, you really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Not too bad. Didn't quite get it far enough left and maybe a little too gentle as well. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And it'll stay at minus nine. look good for a while but it's gonna get gobbled up by that bunker the tee shot collected here now a short one for his second okay a good out and that's what will remain for birdie from about eight feet. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. This is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You've bombed your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Zip one in there close. Not very good at all. That could cost him. Yeah, hindsight's 20-20. You just wish you took the shorter club now. Nah, the putter bails him out there. That's in for a par. And this will stay a one-shot lead. Okay, that's safe, but he'll be putting from the other side of the green. Iona's down there. She's had a good look. This for birdie. Well, for a long putt like this, there's really not a whole lot to it. I think you'll fancy his chances at this one. Mm, 
Yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And this will remain a one-shot advantage. That's up the left side. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. Now this for another birdie. Nope. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he's gonna remain at 10 under. Now from the bunker. You know, just a little splash out on this par three. Yeah, that's going to be just okay. Might have been a little worried about not getting it out. And instead, this is going to leave a tough putt coming up. Oh, yeah, worth an exhale there. That's a good par save here at 17. And he'll stay right where he is. Well, this breeze going to push this toward the right. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. We'll have the distance right just a little bit offline to the left. And a little bit left, too, with this third shot. Chance now for another birdie. Good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. And that won't quite get them into the 50s, but well, that's quibbling. This is a round of 60. Well, that about wraps things up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nabolo. Enjoyed it, Frank. Certainly did, Rich. Once again, the golf course provided more than a stern test. And for the entire team, I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time. <laughs>